What up players, it's War Boss Tay back up in this mud with another tutorial. Today we're finishing our Chaos Space Marine of the Black Legion. The paints you're going to need to use today are Mephiston Red, Evil Sun Scarlet, Pallid Witch Flesh, Avedon Black, and if you're going to be painting the insignia on the, the decal, the transfer, you're going to need a little bit of Averlin Sunset. So, thanks for watching. Hope you guys like it. Please leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. Don't forget to hit the like button and uh, let's get on with the show. Welcome back everybody. We're going to try to finish our Legionnaire, our son of Horus turned into the Black Legion Space Marine. So, this is where we left off. I painted the base black. Today we're going to do some highlights. So we're going to start with the head crest or the top knot, we're gonna use Mephiston Red. And the goal is we're gonna just try to paint the, the strands that are the most prominent. So try not to get your paint, as always, into the creases where we put our Agrax Earthshade. If you do that, you know, it's not the end of the world. You don't have to really go back and repaint the Agrax Earthshade, but it, it will make things easier for you in the end. So using a fine tipped brush, I am really just dragging it along the most prominently raised areas. And I kind of did this on the back of the top knot as a test, so this is how it's gonna end up eventually. Next, we're going to take some Evil Sun Scarlet, which is basically like a layer paint version of Mephiston Red. It's a little bit brighter though, which is why we're gonna put that on next. If you are using a helmeted head, then you would obviously just skip these steps. I thought the the top knot is so reminiscent of the the old design for the uh, Sons of Horus and the Luna Wolves. They're known for their top knots, Abaddon especially, but yeah, I wanted to incorporate that into these. So by doing single lines, you get a really nice kind of contrast between the shade and the highlight. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we are going to put on the transfers. There's nothing really else that you need to do with the black armor if you want to highlight up the gun or or anything else. You could just use your base highlights. I kind of think this is a good this is a good kind of look for for the model that we have. <clears throat> so we're going to get into putting in the transfers now. I've clipped out an Eye of Horus from the transfer sheet and then we will be adding this on so I'm going to grab my hard, hard coat and be right back. So obviously Games Workshop isn't going to promote another company like Microscale Industries so I'm going to show you the way that we would put on a transfer if we didn't have the awesome fantastic Microsol and Microset. So the first thing you do is take your art coat and paint that over the area that you're going to use your transfer on. And the Games Workshop articles and all of that stuff says that the art coat, what that does is it creates a nice smooth glossy cover like area for your transfer to go on. When it dries, it's gonna almost create this like shell. If you were just to do it over the paint, put the transfer right on top of the paint, then uh, there's a chance that it could end up all lumpy with air bubbles underneath and we want to make sure that it's nice and smooth for as much as possible. While that's drying, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write some script into 
our model's armor. Now this is a technique that I like to do to make my models stand out on the battlefield and it's really great if you want to add a little bit of person personalization to your models. So I've got my Pallid Witch Flesh. You can use any of the lighter colors, such as Ulthuan Gray, White Scar. Pallid Witch Flesh is going to be just the one that I'm using for this model. But you could really do, do it however you want. So these are just going to be uh, little verses and scripts, devotionals to chaos and whatnot. I'm doing lines as thinly as possible across the armor plate that I'm going to decorate. Let's do four lines. And we'll also do some lines of script down here on the leg. Kind of asking for the Dark God's blessing. You can do this for traitors or loyalists. In the case of the loyalists, it would be to ask for the blessing of the emperor. Okay, and you can choose where you want to put it on the model. But I've decided that those are gonna be the two places for this model that I'm gonna put it on. And I'm just gonna clean it up with some Abaddon Black. A lot of people Uh, don't know that when you clean up a mistake or even just something you painted over already, then it really adds a level of, you know, that extra level of detail to your model and makes them look even better. Now, you might think this might be more in, in keeping or in tune with the word, word bearers who are the most devotional to the Chaos Gods, but I find that doing it on the mainstream Black Legion is a really great way to make them not look so boring. Like there's so many black power armored guys out there, these guys, the Raven Guard, Black Templar, Iron Hands, they need stuff that makes them stand out from each other on the battlefield, I feel. So, some chaos, God beseeching devotional script is just the thing for that. By now, our gloss coat, or our ard coat, should have created a nice, smooth surface. It's okay if it's still a little wet and isn't completely dried yet. We're just gonna apply our transfer on top of it. So I've soaked my transfer in some water, now I'm taking my uh, my tweezers and I'm gonna slide the transfer off of the backing sheet so that it can be applied to the model. Come on, come on, slide off the backing sheet. Hey, what's wrong with this guy? Oh no, my little star is all breaking up. Uh, do I want to get another one? I might want to get another one. That's alright, I'll just paint over it. The dark gods do not look favorably upon this marine. All right, so now that we've placed our transfer on, we're going to just smooth it over. Oh, there it is. Now 
And normally you would just let that dry, but <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my microsol. This is the one that makes it dissolve after it's been set, which is what microset does. That's how I remember microset and microsol. I'm going to just paint it over. I'm going to let that guy relax for just a little while and get set in place. Oops. And then what I'm going to do is we're going to paint paint our iconography so that it looks less like a sticker and more like painted on insignia. So we'll, we're going to let that dry and we'll come right back in just a second. After giving the model some time to dry, it's going to have a very shiny look to it. And that's just the area that the transfer paper is sticking to, as well as maybe some of the art coat left over. So I'm just taking Abaddon Black now, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint over the side areas. Kind of like that. It's still going to be a little bit shiny, but that's okay. It's, it's a little bit better than nothing. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take... It's a weird yellow. I'm looking at the yellow trying to see what I can use. So why don't we start with Averland Sunset. What we're going to do is just kind of paint the insignia. I'm wondering even if I should do it in gold rather than rather than this yellow. Uh, maybe maybe that's something to think about for later. So I'm also thinking about the part of the insignia that got ripped off from the bottom. I'm just going to really quickly fill in those two little points right now. The benefit of painting your transfers is it increases your brush control. Your ability as a painter will go up because you're kind of following, you're doing a kind of like as a little kid when you, when they give you coloring books and you paint within the lines. This is a little bit of the same theory, but as a painter, your skill will grow because you're learning how to shade and how to follow the design. If you're not able to freehand something like this, then it will really be a good benefit to you. Okay, going back to clean up the little points, we're going to use Abaddon Black one more time. We're going to just straighten out these points at the top. something like that. And we will add some votive script to this shoulder pad now, and that should complete our model. So again, we're trying to imagine we're doing a handwritten script, and then we're going to clean in between the lines with our Abaddon Black. So it's okay if when you're painting it on, it doesn't go on very well. See, it came out really thick this last time that I painted it, and that's fine. If you want to get the shine completely off, the best thing to do is to use
some dull coat varnish. All right, and there you have it, our Black Legion Chaos Space Marine. Even though they are the most recognizable of the evil quote-unquote Space Marines because they have the black armor, Games Workshop has been, you know, kind of pimping these guys out for a long time. It is always good to try and add a little bit of extra flair to your figures, which is why the top knot votive devotional script to the Dark Gods and little touches like that will... Uh, the painted on look of the symbol, the insignia. Wait, looks like the paint is running. <laughs> Oops. Little touches like that will help your model to stand out from the crowd and it will help people. It'll, it'll help you when people come to your table and they're like, whoa, look at that. That's awesome. That model looks great. I haven't seen you know, generic looking models looking that good for a long time. So definitely you want to be as much of an artist in the game as possible. And uh, thanks for watching. Simple, simple techniques, but with a little bit of practice and a little bit of embellishment and flourish, your models will stand out as well. If you want to, instead of doing script, do kind of like chaos symbols, like the eight-sided star down here, you can do that. Um, different symbols of the different gods, if you're playing Black Legion, but maybe you want your guys to have a uh, mark of corn, you could paint corn symbols in the armor, or a Zinch or a Nurgle or anything else like that, Slanesh. So thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment and don't forget to hit the like button before you leave. Thanks for watching. Latest players!